She's like, out with your baby toy. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money plush. Items to be on the lookout for that are plush or another name for plush is stuffed animals. That's the more common name. I always say that resellers call it plush and people looking for items on platforms like parents or people trying to find things from their childhood, they, they would call them stuffed animals. So I think it's important to use both keywords in your title, stuffed animal and plush. All right, let's get started with these big money bolo items that were shared by members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. I shared this in the group and asked everybody to share their plush bolos. I have a bunch of videos like this. This is something I keep going every month on Facebook. So if you have a bolo to share, definitely come share it. There's a link to my Facebook group down in the description of the video. I think it's under my link tree. All right, here we go. I bought this Young Simba by Douglas Toys at a yard sale for $3. Picked this up at the Goodwill for $3. Sold at listed price within 48 hours on Mercari. It is a vintage Disney store exclusive 12 inch bear, the big blue house plush stuffed animal. Yes. Mercari number one is great for stuffed animals. $65 plus shipping over there. Bear in the big blue house. If you see him, he also has like a little rat friend. Both of them do very, very well. So definitely be on the lookout. I've talked about those before in videos. Um, found this Dakin 1973 dropper, dropper dog at a yard sale for 50 cents. Sold for full asking price of $39.99. Is it dropper or drooper? <laughs> I don't know. This is what it looks like. Uh, somebody put, I've had mine listed forever with no bites. She said, wow, that is crazy. And the listing and do sell similar to refresh it. She said, I have twice. He does have a loose nose, so I may repair it and then relist. Oh, so hers is damaged. That's probably why it's not list, why it's not selling. Bought this for 99 cents at the Goodwill. Sold for full asking price of 48 on eBay international sale. Took a few months to sell, but still a great profit. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Eat, Pray, and Thrift. And she sells a lot of plush for big money. Definitely check her out. It is a Mercedes-Benz teddy bear promo plush 17-inch Indy 2000 car racing. There you go. I got this Eden Pastel Terry Cloth Bear plush at the Goodwill Bins and paid about a dollar. It sold for $190 plus shipping in three months. Yes, yes, yes. Be on the lookout for these Terry Cloth stuffed animals. If it's Terry Cloth, look it up. Somebody put, oh my gosh, my oldest son had this when he was a baby. I better go check the old baby toys and see if I can find it. She's like, out with your baby toy. <laughs> I can get $190 bucks for that. I'm going to sell it. I don't need it. I don't need that memory. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Isn't it funny the things that you realize are a bolo that you used to have and you're like, mm, I really don't need to save this. I would rather have $190. All right. Bought this uh, from the bins for $1.59 a pound. Sold within four to five hours of listing for full price on eBay. Love the insurance plush. Always sell quick for me. It is a mutual, Liberty Mutual Limu. And it sold for $27.99. So she is saying, leave on their little shirts. The vintage advertising or advertising can help sell it. Somebody put, in my neck of the woods, they run amok. Found on the 500 block of something Lake Road. Please call the non-emergency dispatch number if this is yours. And please share. It is being held inside until owners are found. <laughs> This is not a stuffed animal. This is real. That is hilarious. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is this real life? So she found this. It it's a it's a it's a limu. <laughs> limu emu. Or it's an emu. Is it a limu or an emu? I don't know what it is, but look, she found one. So if this belongs to you, give her give her a call. <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh my goodness. I never expected to see that in the Bolo Buddies Facebook group, but I am sorry I had to share. That's awesome. I bought this Young Simba by Douglas Toys at a yard sale for $3 and sold it for a best offer of $325. 
Wowza. It is a vintage large young Simba Lion King poseable plush from the 90s. I picked this uh, vintage terry cloth bear plush rattle up for $1.49 at the Goodwill. Listed for $49.99 and buyer used promotional code for a savings of five. They were all in for $53.83 and net profit, profit was $38.00. And this one comes from Lola's Trunk Treasures, and she is a Bolo Buddies member. Check her out. So another terry cloth item. Oh my goodness, I cannot get over that. Never heard of this. Odd or different is always a plus with plush. Comps were good. Her hair was matted and messy. Just disclosed and sold within a week. Bought at the bins for $1.59. Matted hair. Over the moon. Yes, I've heard of over the moon. Plush change a doll stuffed toy jade rabbit 11 inch i think over the moon isn't that like an anime maybe i haven't heard of it i feel like i have but i think i'm thinking of sailor moon i'm, I'm thinking of sailor moon <laughs> anyway 59.99 or 51.99 plus shipping found her while we were on vacation in florida at a goodwill i paid six dollars for it i thought it was crazy price because most other plush here at georgia was $1.11. Sold in about three weeks. The buyer was all in for $89.64, so sold it for $72. Disney Parks Lady and the Tramp plush dog weighted, soft, cozy, and it's marked Japan, and this is what it looks like. I bought this Huggy Wuggy at a local unclaimed mail type store. I paid four. He took about a week to sell, and I took a best offer of 70 Buyer was all in for $74.64. This is the second time I have sold one like this. The first time, I believe I sold it for closer to $40. This time, there were no others listed. And Poppy Playtime Huggy Wuggy. White Glow in the Dark Scary Collectible Plush. So I think this is an evil plush, and this is what it looks like. Somebody said, be careful. I had one pulled from eBay, even though others were listed. Luckily, I had only paid four for mine. I listed it on another platform. Not sold yet, but a gray exclusive one. Somebody put, I actually find these pretty often, all different colors. It creeps me out so much. When I last looked comps, they were only about 15 to 20. Huh. And somebody put, I think it is only certain ones. I find the basic blue ones and other colors, but this glow-in-the-dark one, I guess, is sort of rare, but I still look them up. Okay, so might be one that you could get removed. I, maybe they make fakes. I don't know. Paid a dollar at the local fundraiser sale. This was from last year. Don't know if that matters. Sold for full price. It is a Disney Parks exclusive Monsters, Inc. Mike Wazowski Big Feet 10-inch plush. 48 plus shipping for that one. Just sold this one today. Full asking price. Paid three at a yard sale. Jellycat London 15 inch Charm Dylan Dragon stuffed animal plush retired. Sold it for 65. Paid $8 each and sold within 10 minutes of listing. We have Kamar collectible plush $140. And it doesn't have anything else in the title. Is it a football player or a sports player? It's so small. That one just says Kamar Collectible Plush, 140. Here's another one. Kamar Colts NFL Football Doll Stuffed Plush with tags. Sold for 215 Man, they hit the jackpot on these. And here's a Cleveland Browns NFL doll from the 80s. Kamar Stuffed Plush, 120 Now that is a bolo I did not know about. I will definitely be on the lookout. Wow. $8 each and sold within 10 minutes of listing. So I'm going to say if they sold within 10 minutes of listing, either if the same person bought them all, then, you know, maybe she just got lucky and there was somebody looking for it or she undersold it. Um, but either way, $8, that's a lot of money. Eight each. Wow. Come on, guys. Stuffed dolls. Wow. Wow. Took a dollar, I'm sorry, paid a dollar, took an offer three days later. It is a Van Presto Mobile Suit Gun Gundam Zaku Super Rare Plush Toy Doll. Never seen this one either. $80. Looks like um, that one sold on Mercari. If you're not selling your plush on Mercari, definitely consider getting your items over there. Um, again, I use List Perfectly to cross post. I'm not going to go a whole lot into it, but if you want to check out the video down below, It'll show you how to use List Perfectly, and you can get 
30% off with coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Also, if you want to join Mercari, there's a link down below. You get $10 to shop when you use that link and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 and free money. And then they also give me money to shop. So thank you for using my referral links. If you want to get on Poshmark, you get $10 with my referral link down below to shop. Got him in a bag of random toys my two-year-old picked out for herself. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Poshmark, plush sells on Poshmark also. Look at this little guy. I don't know what kind of dog that is. Is it a Chihuahua? <laughs> it's so ugly. It's cute. It sold for $40. Got this at a red, white, and blue thrift store around the corner from my house. Found in a mixed bag of plush for $4. Sold for full asking price after a few weeks. It's a Sesame Street Ovajita Classic Character Collection. Spanish Lamb. $199.99. Wow. That's amazing. Sold this today. Took about six weeks. Paid 75 cents at a local church thrift store. It's a Jelly Cat Amusable Watermelon Lovey. Yes, Jelly Cat is an awesome brand. If you can find the Amusables, some of those go for big bucks. So definitely be on the lookout. Found this Build-A-Bear, and I have not seen this one before, you guys. I have lots of Build-A-Bear Bolo videos that tell you which Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for. I also have some that show you that Build-A-Bear sometimes sell for more on Mercari than they do eBay. So check out that video as well. Just type in Build-A-Bear Bolo Buddies into the YouTube search and you'll find those videos. But some Build-A-Bear go for crazy money. Most are bread and butter. Found this Build-A-Bear at a local yard sale for five, sold in about two weeks. It didn't sell through an offer, but buyer bought during a 25% off sale. Build-A-Bear Vincent Van Gogh Sunflower Bear Sitting Plush. Check it out. $103.50 for that one. I sell quite a bit of plush here. Here are a few. This is called Conscious Decision Feeling Buddies. And it sold two times, once on Posh for $108 and once on Facebook for $125. Canceled the Facebook order. Got them from the bins, paid maybe a dollar and sold within a month. So it looks like she sold it in two places. It must have been a highly sought after item if it sold in two places. Um, so I think what I'm understanding is she canceled the Facebook order and went ahead and sold it on Posh, even though it sold for more on Facebook. Maybe $3 sold within two months of listing full price. Vintage Mattel Simba Disney Lion King plush, 1993, sold on Mercari for $88 plus shipping. Mercari, Mercari, Mercari. Get those items on Mercari. Um... Somebody put, is the date usually on the tag or do you research? Sometimes dates are on the tags and sometimes you have to research. I typically will not put a date unless it is on the tag. She didn't answer, so I'm going to go ahead and answer that for you. Um, a lot of times, maybe you can break it down to the 90s, the 80s. The I, I usually don't put a date. I just put vintage if I know that it's over 20 years old. Paid $3, sold within a week of listing at full price. Um, it is a new attack Princess Peach plush 24 inch Super Mario Nintendo plush doll collectible. Sold it for $85 and this is what it looks Definitely a bolo. Nintendo items always look up anything that is Nintendo related. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you have a plush bolo you would like to share, head over to my Facebook group and share that bolo. Um, get those items on other platforms. Etsy's also another great platform where I'm seeing a lot of vintage plush selling for big money. So um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and check out that description for those links that I talked about. Thanks for watching.